Hello. Welcome back to Castle Doctrine. Can't see me amongst all this rubble? I don't blame you. There I am. Just kind of peeking my head out of the cataclysmic wasteland that is my house. It's been a few days since I recorded my last episode and made it known that I was contemplating recording sets for an entire house from the beginning to the end before I upload any part of it. It seems that some people may have misconstrued my heads up about what I was thinking as a challenge. A challenge that they were prepared to rise to. So, I don't know whether to interpret this as as some sort of mafia-like warning, a threat that uh, that is now a hit on me, or that uh, my family is now at war with some other family, or just that uh, someone was trying to let me know in a hilariously funny way that they would really like to see a new house. But uh, let's have a, a quick look. Let's see what we can see. Let's put our detective's hat on, get out our little pipe, call over our sidekick doctor, and... Uh, Let's let's just have a look. What can we tell from the character of the person or persons who destroyed my house? First of all, you'll notice that while some of these walls have been chopped through with saws, a very large amount of them have been cut through. This tells me that whoever did this was phenomenally wealthy, because instead of using a $20 tool to destroy each wall, they used a $100 tool to destroy each wall. The other thing that I've also noticed is they were quite meticulous. They broke every wire. They broke every switch. They even went to the effort of putting down door stops. They even smashed the windows. The only things they didn't break would appear, at first glance, to be the doors, which they can't break, and the toggle switches, which they can't break. But everything else, everything else was destroyed. Also, I thought, initially... Now, on a scale of one to awesome, I would say that this effort was super good, but they do lose points. I'm afraid that there was just some sloppy work which prevented this from being one of the best trolls I've seen in this game. Firstly, you didn't take the time to turn the power on so that you could break each of these. You can only break them when they're powered, but they can be broken, and they are not. Bad show. You failed to break these. You could have, with a little bit of forethought, you could have let the power be on so you could smash them first. But no, you didn't plan ahead. But that's okay. You still broke a lot of stuff. But the other thing, the one thing that is, has pulled down your mark the most was this. You left something alive. Not just unbroken, but alive. You didn't kill my cat. You fools. You almost were awesome. You were almost infamous. Your names would have gone down in history. But alas, no. You are now relegated to be remembered only briefly by me showing this video. I'm not even going to look for your names. You have disappointed me. And I will not make your names become immortalized in the annals of YouTube history. But uh, for what it's worth, well done. I am impressed. And rather flattered, actually. I mean, you've probably spent four or five times as much money as I spent building this house, breaking it utterly. But on that note, it is time for this character to give up the ghost, really. I mean, he doesn't have a family anymore. He's got a cat. Maybe I could, like, you know, stick the cat in a little polka dot covered handkerchief tied to a stick and make my way out of this filthy neighborhood full of thieves and murderers, go start a new life for myself somewhere. But I don't think I can. I think we all know what way this is headed. I am going to make this final video a burglary video. And then I'm going to start a new house. You will probably not see that new house for a week, maybe two weeks. It really depends on how successful I've been, though. Even if I'm super successful, 
at some point I will eventually start showing the videos anyway, or or think of something that I can do other than that. Um, just to, to upload some Castle Doctrine stuff. I, I don't want to be too long between uploads, but uh, yeah, my plan will be to play the, the house out without showing anyone how to, to break it, without letting anyone know which one's mine, and when it falls, I'll start uploading that one and immediately start work on the next one. So hopefully, in the sort of cyclic nature of things, as I'm coming to the end of the footage that I've got of House A, House B will have fallen, so I'll have House B to start uploading once House A finishes, and, and so on and so forth, and carry on like that. But yes, it's time to say a final goodbye. Let me just make sure I've got some gear. Yes, I do, and I've got even a little bit of money, so I may be able to come back and rearm if I need to. But, uh, goodbye, Bonnie. Also, goodbye, Fred. Goodbye, George. Goodbye, Lady. Goodbye, Molly. Goodbye, Yolo. Goodbye, Reese. Goodbye, Whiskey. Where's my cat? My cat's probably run off. He doesn't like me. He never liked me. That's why I stuck him in the cage. Let's see. Goodbye, Tiffany. Goodbye, Eddie. I don't intend to return. Or it's worth. You were a fantastic family. I was blessed to have you. Oh. Uh, I, I forgot your name. Um, we didn't really... It was just a pup, really. I hadn't properly trained it yet. Oh, my cat. Flee, Pixel! Go on. Live. Live a good life. <sighs> Goodbye, house. Right. I don't intend to go back there, really. If I die awesomely, I will probably just keep doing robbery attempts on high value houses until there's enough footage for a, a, an episode but i'm not gonna be stupid i'm not gonna go into a house that's almost certainly gonna be a combination lock let's try let's try jacob david blodgett okay lots of dogs um can probably hmm what i would like to do is try to trap you but um one Two. Uh oh. Uh. Um. Sorry. Now, what can I see? Can't see much. I'm sorry, dog. I genuinely am about this. Go to sleep. Forever. Oh, balls. There's another one. Shit. How many dogs are there? Holy crap. There's a lot. Um. I, I don't really want to just give up, but, oh, hello, children. Anthony, Alison, go on, get out, you crazy kids. Uh, you may have to step around your mother. Oh, no, okay, you can walk over the pit bulls, I forgot. If I go up there, I'm going to be seriously in trouble, because I'm, mm, I, I really do want to try, though. What can I see about that? That does not appear to be attached to anything. Am I happy enough to try, though? Damn it, if I had one more thing, I could put him to sleep. No, no, we're not going to risk ourselves like that. We're going to do... We're going to buy a lot of dog meat. Get rid of you. Take that. Okay, let's go back out. I may not intend to come back alive, but that doesn't mean I'm going to just throw my life away. See, John, uh, Jason Arnold Joslin. J-A-J. Uh, go on, Jennifer, get out. This is a filthy trick here, so we're just going to leave. But uh, I, I thought it only right to let them leave first. We may have had our house destroyed, we may have had our family slain, and all, most of our pets slain, but we have not lost our humanity. We have not forgotten what we initially set out to protect, even if we failed in that sacred charge. Brian Edward Harbin. Let's see what you've got, Mr. Harbin. It, I'm, actually, I think I've been to your house before. Ah. Um, yes, I'm fairly certain I have. There is probably... Given 
the way that this is set up, there is probably some very specific set of movements in here you need to do that will activate this bridge. But uh, we're going to leave because there's not much else we could do other than throwing ourselves into a pit or hanging ourselves. And I've already explained that that is not on my list of priorities at the moment. So, who's next? I've got to say, so far, I'm not particularly impressed. Um, Lester Peter Fernandez. That sounds like a familiar name. And there's 99 people have died in your house. Oh, Lester. That is completely a trick. See, that's put there just to make people think, Ha-ha! I will shut the power off. But no. No, you will not. Goodbye, Mr. Fernandez. That's probably some sort of maze. You've got to move in a very specific way due to chihuahuas and cats to not electrify yourself. I may come back and give one of these things a try if I don't have anything else to do at the end and I'm still not dead. Frank Patrick Carpenter. Come on, Frank. With a solid name like Frank, you can't let me down. Don't be one of these fops who believes in... Ah, Frank, Frank, why did you do this, Frank? You had every opportunity. See, that's going to break everything, isn't it? So, what I would imagine has happened here is someone has already broken it in, and that's like uh, by breaking in, they've set off some sort of trap or something that has permanently locked the the puzzle. Very clever, and I do intend to use that sort of stuff myself later on. As a Francis Demers, okay, you have 7,400 in your bank. 138 have tried and 30 have died. Let's see if, uh, oh. All right, let's have a look at your gallery first. Whoops, by Anthony Birch. Escape Found by Scott Brody. It looks like a little cave. Keep by Richard Lam... I'm not sure how to pronounce that name. I do apologize. Study in Blue by Rod Humble. What a humble painting as well. Pepper by Jackie Rohr. I wonder if that's Jason... Well, Jason's wife, Jason's sister, daughter, something like that. And they drew there. That's kind of cool. Ass over tea kettle by Victor Stone. Uh, okay. Inspiration by Jasper Bine. That's actually quite a pretty one. Roman Knight Order Giver by Mez. Uh, that doesn't really look like a knight. It looks like a crazy person. Are You Embarrassed to Dance by Ashley Birch. Well, I don't know about them, Ashley. But, uh... I, I know men without hats were, would be very, very unhappy about anyone embarrassed to dance. They probably wouldn't be their friends. Stay Up All Night by Darius Kezem. Blythe by Andy Lynn. That's a very ghostly painting. Mike Shot by Jason Stevenson. Hopefully my name is not Mike and I will not get shot. Tentacles by Jason Stevenson. Okay, I'm dubious of anything that's about tentacles. I have seen far too much anime. Zaprada, Zapruda, 260 by Jason. Wow, we've got a lot of Jason's pictures here. Perhaps this person is a very big fan. Lips for Eyelids by Ashley Birch. I can only imagine that would be incredibly awkward. Ooh, that's nice. Sarsaparilla Sunset. I appreciate that. That's really good. Even for pixel art, that's brilliant. Aero by Andy Neil, uh, Neilin. Again, another very nice one. Though the blending of the sky, not so good. Portrait of a Raindrop. I've seen this one before, Mr. Humble. A very nice little painting. Burning of Parliament by Frank Lance. Uh, oh, I see. Can uh, Well, yeah, I suppose. I suppose you would be... Well, you'd be more insulting the Queen, really, by cutting up uh, a piece of paper money, since it's her face you're going to be snipping through. Or various other lords. Having a read 
which you should do on occasion, lest you forget how to. Blio by Andy Nalen. I have no idea what that's about, but it looks kind of cool and trippy. Holy shit, this guy's got a ridiculous amount of paintings. I really wasn't expecting to be sat here just reading paintings, but it's kind of cool to see which ones are available. And uh, any of you aspiring thieves out there know who to rob in order to get them now. Old Guard by Scott Brody. Found Son by Scott Brody. And there we are, we're back to Study in Blue. Just wow. So many paintings. It just boggles my mind. I know there are some people on Bay 12 who often ask, oh, I'm looking for a certain painting. If anyone sees it, let me know which house and then I'll dedicate my life to robbing it. Right, well, I've probably shut down any trap that was here by doing the dance. It's usually a death sentence, or at least a locked-in sentence for anyone who does it. I can only imagine that there are stupid amounts of dogs up there. Or not. It's probably just stupid amounts of uh, electric floors. Right, well, given the enormous size of this area... <laughs> Well done. <clears throat> You've probably completely made a, a fence, basically, with these electric crates. And by having danced around and not stepped in a very specific way, this is now a guaranteed death sentence. And this is a lot more complicated than a combination lock. Because even though the, the correct combination of steps is probably simpler than a combination lock, because it's such an enormous area to do it in, the possible combinations of steps are, well, they'd go up on an order of magnitude. That's that's very clever. I'm just going to leave. Let's see. So who was that? Who had all of those paintings? I forget. I think it was Azza there. Azza Francis de Mies. Well done. We're going to check out Wilfred Joshua Lizot. Okay, this looks a little bit more promising. Ah, but again, I'm really dissuaded from just trying these traps because I can see that one wrong move is going to kill me. But I do like your, your shrine. I think I've said this before. Again, someone else with lots of paintings. This time I'm not going to read through them because... Oh, okay, there's not that many. So we've got Form by William Beeb. Uh, um... That probably has some very meaningful, wonderful title, if you can translate the alien language it's written in. Same for this one. And then we've got Sentinel by Adam Saltzman. Wow. Dermatillomanian Cultivation by Alex Diamond. And The Storm by Rod Humble. I like Rod Humble's paintings. I really do. Skull by David S. Goyer. But no, I really like Mr. Humble's paintings. Right, where else are we going? Philip Gary Wells. Okay, a dog. Um, as I would like to pass you, I'm going to have to put you down. I'm sorry about this dog. Aha! Yes, well, I assumed as much, honestly. Um... I wonder how many tiles I could get through here before shutting it off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hmm. If you cut up and then across and waited for them to turn on, you could then use water to break the last ones and then walk across. You could do that. I might come back to. Oh well, I would. I'd never have enough stuff to do it. Actually, damn. I suppose you could probably get halfway across and then duck down with five remaining. If I brought five of these and at least one water, I could get a part of the way in. Uh, that's tempting to try. That's very tempting to try. We'll check out the other houses first. But uh, I'll try and remember to return to that one at the very end. William Jason Hamblin. I mean, I don't have any... Oh, wow. Um, if I step out of here, I'm going to die, aren't I? It's too tempting. Oh, I'm alive! 
Okay. Okay, I'm still alive. Don't know how, don't know why, but I am. There is a... Oh. If I do this, you're going to unlock this door, aren't you? Yes. Um, and you're going to lock that one. Damn it. I do not have a crowbar. But I do have this. Mwahaha. Come out here, dude. That's right. Come with me. Oh, no. The family's dead. Kelly, Brooke, Timmy. But as I was going to say, I don't know what I'm going to do with this money. If I should actually get any. I really don't know. Oh. oh another one like this. Damn. I don't know what I must do. And there's a dog there. Could cut my way in, I suppose. Um. Hmm. Could also cut my way this way. I suppose. Ah, it goes nowhere. Damn. I have chosen poorly. I would like to know what what's around here, but... Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to find out. Oh, no! Oh, you cunning swine! You cunning, cunning swine! You've left this there to lure people in. Very clever indeed. Protect me from what I want. That is good advice. Then Rise by Kyle Pulver and uh, Felicity. Uh, Felicity, hmm. Yes. But well done, Mr. William Johnson Hamblin. Well done indeed. I will accept my fate. There's not really much else I can do. Fresh start. But it won't really be a fresh start. We are going to do something very... Now that I've died... I may as well just try this out. We'll take five of you. One of you. Well, actually, we'll take another one of you. And a crowbar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just take a sip of drink before we do this stupid thing that I'm about to try. Let's get some money. Uh, get out of here, sorry. Goodbye, Christopher. Goodbye, Rachel. And goodbye, Gina. I'm probably not going to be back. Um, children, know that I love you. I hope you live good lives. Let's see, where are you? You all know where I'm going. Uh, was it you, Mr. Lizot? No, it was not. Okay, well, where was it? Whose house was I going to try to return to? It wasn't Azza's. I know that. Was it Mr. Wells? Yes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, balls, six. I was too greedy. <clears throat> right, so we're going to need six at least. That's fine, we've got that. Though, the yeah, okay, we'll do that. We will be back, Mr. Wells. <clears throat> right, I'm just going to clear my throat. Bear with me. And I return. Right, let's buy my tools once again. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll take seven. And one of these. There we go. Let's try. Oh my goodness, I didn't even check my family's name. I can't leave without knowing this. Timmy, Jessica, and Colette. Have fun. Um, d don't, don't wait around for me, Colette. Remarry. I hope you're happy. Let's see. Colette's mother didn't like me anyway. Damn it. Quickly. Right, okay. Mr. Wells. So, one, two, three, four. Five, no? Oh. I, oh. Four. I, I'm just giving Mr. Wells a bunch of stuff. But, on the plus side, I might take it back off him. If I'm lucky. I'm probably not going to be lucky, but I'm going to try. And this is officially the first time I've actually done this, where I've used multiple lives to try and crack someone's house. I do feel a little bit bad for it. 
I, it's not really something I want to do. And I have considered, if I do manage to win, of off-screen just buying loads of crap and going back to this guy's house just to drop it off. Though, I don't know, I, that's almost insulting, really. Kenny, Tracy, and Kimberly. Uh, well, I'm not too fond of the name Kenny, and it kind of has terrible connotations these days, but uh, Tracy, Kimberly, uh, those are quite nice names. I probably agreed with my wife on those ones. Which makes makes a, a, a nice change, really. Right. Okay. Right, we're four in. Is this going to kill me? Yes, it is. Okay, so it's on a timer, then. I have exactly four steps. I'm not sure what I'm meant to do. At all. Though, I can see down there there's a way in. Now, hmm. I'm going to need seven of these things to get through here. That's an awful lot. But we will try. Hello, Stephen. Carolyn. Samantha. Wow. I'm starting to get a newfound respect for the people who do this, like, professionally, to break houses. Uh, not in the real world, I mean, I mean in this game, because obviously you don't get more than one life in the real world, so I don't really have much respect for those who throw it away to try and break into someone's house, but uh, for the ones who actually use multiple lives to solve a problem, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. So, we want three in. Cut down, go down. Okay. Let's make our way across. This does feel incredibly cheap. Let's turn off the power. Oh, so the power's come from up there. I see. Very cunning. Oh, and then it's a combination lock. <laughs> well done. Well played, Mr. Wells. I see you have thought of everything. <clears throat> it seems that whatever happened, when this was successfully robbed, it set this system up. So we're just going to try a couple of random possibilities. No. Some of these are probably shutting the system off. <clears throat> I do apologize for having to clean my, clear my throat so much. Don't know why. And... No. Okay, well... Well done, sir. No, I'm not going to suicide. I'm going to try and leap it. I'm fairly sure I can. I've got to have a good run up. Um, maybe if I run up from all the way over here and then just like... Swerve at the last moment. Ready? I am. Ready. Go! Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm too much of a coward. Uh, okay. Did I, did the other dog die? Oh man, he did. I feel bad. Fine. There we are. I'm now dead. I hope you're happy with yourself, Mr. Wells. I know that you are. Uh, Charlie. Susan. And Samantha. No, I'm not going to keep this family. This isn't going to be the house I use. Because I know some of you will hunt around for a house where there is a Charlie, a Susan, and a Samantha. And then you will destroy it. I'm on to your cunning shenanigans. Though, honestly, if anyone did take the time to uh, hunt me down by that small amount of information, I would be moderately impressed. But no, I'm not going to give you the opportunity. After I have finished recording this video... I will leave. I will let these people go on. I will just go and do something. I'll probably try and rob somewhere. And then I will start a new house. And we'll see how long it takes me to lose it. Hopefully, I'll have some really interesting videos where people are genuinely trying to break my traps. Rather than having people who know how to break my traps. Kind of leaving it in a ruined state. Thus allowing anyone then who wouldn't have known how to break it to easily access my vault it did make for great viewing you know eight million videos of someone just walking straight to my vault across my already ladder broken pit traps etc yeah not great but hopefully i will have some pretty interesting or at least funny security tapes to show you and uh, we'll see what i can achieve without you watching over my shoulder. 
I, I think some of you are actually good luck charms, really, so I might not do very well. You might start seeing a lot of houses be uploaded very quickly. But that is it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the end of my awesome house, which was almost completely full of awesomeness. And, and still kind of was, in a, in a way, in terms of how much was spent in order to reduce it from awesomeness to kind of anti-awesome. But, uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. I will probably see you, I don't know, again, maybe in a week or something like that. Maybe a little bit longer if the house is, is uh, successful. But until then, do take care.